Hello and welcome back to Android Tutorials. And in our channel, there is one series that name is How to Convert Any Website into a Professional Android App. So one request was came in that series that uh, add the desktop mode in your Android Studio. So yes, in this video, I am going to add the desktop mode uh, variant in our Android application. So recently I don't have that uh, uh, Android code so I had just created uh, same web view uh, in our Android studio. So in this video I am just going to show you how to add the desktop mode in Android studio and if you want to see how to add uh, the process uh, dialog process bar and then uh, download functionality uploading of uh, files and all that uh, functions so you can check out that series so you will get that series link in the i button and also in the description of this video so if you enjoyed this video and uh, you like the today's concept then you can uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, don't forget to like this video and if you find this helpful to others then you can share it with your friends so now i am going to introduce about this uh, application so what things i had done in here so first move to the android manifest as we are using web view application so we need internet permission necessary means we have to add the internet permission to access the internet so here you can see that i had added that permission that is use this permission uh, internet so we will use the internet from the android app to make our web view in desktop mode now i am going to close that manifest file and now i don't want my action bar so to remove that action bar we have to change here to be no action bar and let me show you today's demo of our application so you can see that our application is here here is our application so you can check out like this our application will look like so you can easily identify that this is a web view application with desktop mode enabled so i am closing this preview now in themes.xml file when we change this uh, from dark action bar to no action bar we have to again close it here and in activity main file i had added one web view so here you can see that web view and uh, given its id also web view and uh, its width will match parent it is match parent and its uh, align parent uh, bottom top and start uh, that all stuff is in the parent means all the things will be in the uh, full screen only now the main part of this video that is implementing the desktop mode in web view so here i had first declare a web view so that we can access it in full class then in on create method i had declare our web page that is fiverr.com and if you want to watch this uh, complete series of the implementation and making of fiverr uh, then you can check out in the description and also in the i button now we have to write web view is equal to find view by id and here we have to declare r.id.web view next we have to write a set java script enabled so by this way we can show the ads if it is available in our project then we have a set loads image automatically to be true so by this way we will load all the images automatically and we can also uh, load with our view mode means we will load another things also next we have use wider viewport 
एंड आई जस्ट एड इट एंड सेट डॉम स्टोरेज एंड सेट बिल्ट इन जूम कंट्रोल सो यू कैन सी दी प्रीव्यू ऑफ जूम कंट्रोल सो हियर यू कैन सी डेट आई कैन जूम आउट एंड जूम इन एज वेल एंड हियर आई कैन चेंज ऑल्सो ऑल दैट स्टफ सो हियर यू कैन सी डेट इट इज टेकिंग सम टाइम बट इट इज प्रिव्यूइंग Now we have to uh, finally load our URL. So here I had written webview dot load URL of our web page that is fiverr dot com. Now here comes the main part. So it is string user agent and uh, also note that I will give this much code in the description so you can get it from there. So string user agent is equal to webview dot get settings get user agent string and note we have to write these things only and now don't ask uh, any question about this that what is is what is this so uh, just uh, do as i said you will understand it automatically and if you have any query after this also so you can comment me down i will make the video on the same now i have a string with with android string so in this string basically we are taking the web view settings and uh, it's a user agent string so in that we have to find sub string and with this user agent uh, we are getting the index of this uh, starting circle but circle bracket and to end of this circle button we are adding plus 1 and then we are setting our user agent to be web view dot uh, get user agent string dot replace with our this url that we had made with this x11 semicolon linux into 86 underscore 64. So by this way, it will be converted. Then we have to catch the exception and print case stack trace it and then uh, again call web view dot get settings set user agent string to user agent and then finally reload your web view. So by this Android tutorial, you will able to add. the desktop mode of the web view means uh, load the web page in a desktop mode in android studio so if you really enjoyed this video and if you find it, this video helpful then you can like and share with your friends and uh, if you want to watch the complete series then you can subscribe to our channel so you will get it easily and uh, watch the complete series of our web view application so you will find the link in description and it the i button thanks for watching android tutorials